Hi everybody. Today I am going to discuss about inverse functions. So here I have taken two graphs and the equations are y equal to x cube, another is y equal to x square. First of all, we need to know what is one to one function. A function is one to one if any horizontal line intersects its graph only one point. So if we look at this graph, we can see that this horizontal line intersects this curve, I mean with the red lines, everywhere it is intersecting point in one. Say here it is one intersection, here one, everywhere it is one. But right hand side horizontal line intersects this curve y equal to x square at two points. So it is not satisfying to get the function as one to one functions. So this one is one to one functions and these one to one functions are important because these are precisely the function that possesses inverse functions. So it is very important point to understand. So let's move in the next slide to get more information about inverse functions. A function, as we know, can be regarded as taking an input x, processing it in some way to produce a single output function of x. A natural question to ask is whether we can find a function that will reverse the process. In other words, can we find a function that will start with function of x and process it to produce x? It means reverse process. So if we can find such a function, surely we can call it as inverse function to function of x and the symbol is inverse fx. This is the notation to be used to denote the inverse function of function of x. Here we should not confuse with this minus 1. It is not an index even it is not a power. Simply, it is the notation for inverse function. That's all. Now, to compute the equation of inverse function, it is very important. To compute the equation of inverse functions, we have to follow these four steps. So, let's take an example to understand this. Say I am taking the example, already in previous slide we have seen that this y equal to x cube, this function is 1 to 1. Now let's find inverse functions. So what we will do, solve the equation for x in terms of y. So transposing for x, we can find this very easy, x equal to y to the power 1 third. Then step 3 says to express inverse f as a function of x, interchange x and y. Let's do that. So interchanging x and y, we get our equation as this. Because only here x, it will be y. Here it is y, it will be x. 
that's the point here to interchange x and y so it means this is the inverse function so surely we can write y equal to inverse fx equal to x to the power one third because already we showed here this is the notation to be used for inverse function so we are done how to get the inverse functions here we will discuss some other things it is how to find the cancellation equations if we look at these two first one it defines that if f maps x to y if f maps x to y then f inverse maps y back to x again for the second one if we concentrate on inverse f rather than f then we usually what we do we usually reverse the role of x and y so the cancellation equation arises so first cancellation equation we can find by substituting for y and second cancellation equation we will find substituting for y look at here this is first cancellation equation this is second cancellation equation basically first cancellation equation it says if we start with x apply f then f inverse i mean inverse of f we arrive back at x very clear another important thing inverse f undoes what f does inverse f undoes what f does second equation says f undoes what inverse f does now let's see how to use this cancellation equations so i have taken the same equation y equal to x cube because this is one to one functions so surely already i showed in previous slide inverse fx will be x to the power one third so cancellation equation becomes as we have to follow these two so let's write that because our target is to get x back so let's see that see using this only the thing function of x it is x cube i put here x cube and inverse f we have to use one third so i put here one third for second one inverse fx i have to put x to the power one third to be inside and outside power will be function of this it will be three so what we are getting these two equation simply says that q functions and q roots function cancel each others we get x and x i think that's all for this inverse function and its cancellation equations